I'm here to do my planner review. The one I decided to go with with 2018 was the Mom on the Go Planner from In the Leafy Tree Tops. And I just want to give you, before I dig into it, I just wanted to give you a size comparison. This is an Erin Condren, and this is the On the Go Planner. So you can see it's a whole coiled length. And once I show you the inside, you're gonna see why I fell in love with this. But um, the size comparison is definitely a big win in my book. So let me put the Erin Connor in away and flip you on the okay. inside. So opening this up, you have this beautiful vellum piece of paper. It says Life Organized. And this beautiful floral um, like dashboard divider. It's absolutely gorgeous and the paper quality is just breathtaking um, this is by far the best paper I've ever felt in my life it's almost like velvet it's just so beautiful so you open it up and there's quotes all throughout the planner and then you have a year at a glance I'm gonna be using this for my monthly visitor um, just to track that and this is the perfect size for that and when you flip it over you have a year at a glance for 2019 here you have a plan ahead for 2019 and it gives you all 12 months I was going to use this for my zone cleaning checklist but I'm going to show you in a minute why I'm not going to here you have birthdays and anniversaries for every month and I'm going to use it as is here is a few of my favorite things so it's kind of like a journal you can there's like boxes in here so you can go through it um, like every four months you can put what you're loving or if you just want to do once a month or whatever you can personalize that for yourself here's a list of contacts I'm probably going to use this for um, like bill payment contacts <laughs> Then you have yearly medical appointments. You have any kind of doctor you can think of across the top. And then you have spots here down the bottom that you can write um, different people in your family if you want or different, you know, like if you have multiple appointments. That's a nice feature. Then we switch over and there's the healthcare information. So you have all the names of your doctors with their phone number. Um, phone numbers for all the emergencies, pharmacy information. Here you have prescription medications and you can do one for every person in your family. <clears throat> and then symptom trackers if you're tracking headaches or anxiety, stuff like that. Then we flip it over and it's important and handy information. So you, again, it's the name and phone number, account numbers of all these different people insurance information, your church leaders, and at the next page is babysitters, online accounts and subscriptions, favorite blogs and websites, and then thank you cards and gifts if there is a reason and who's going to get one and then you can check them off as you do. You have this beautiful grid paper that you can either doodle on, draw on, whatever you want to do. And then you go into the Old Testament and the New Testament reading. Now, this one is not for Mormon based, so it's not LDS. This is just a Christian based planner. And this is going to be good because one of my goals for next year is to read through the Bible. So, this is a nice, handy checklist to have. Then you have another quote, and that starts your month of January. And every month you get one of these. So it's how can you strengthen your relationship with Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Spirit, your spouse, friends, family, and neighbors, and your children. I think that is so nice to have. And here is the monthly overview. You have the boxes are actually bigger in this planner than they are in the Erin Condren. Then you have a nice note checklist and the next two months uh, for reference. And then this is what the weeks look like. Now, the one downside for me is that the week starts on a Sunday, but I think I can get over that very quickly. So you have a box here that's blank, a box here that's blank. You have a little bit of a habit tracker. You have 
to-do lists, more to-do lists, and then three columns. So you can use this per person in your family, morning, noon, and night, um, tasks, chores, to-dos, whatever. And then down here you can do this for meal planning or I'm planning on doing my Weight Watcher points in this section. And that's what the weekly looks like. So that goes through all the weeks. And then at the end of every month, you have another blank boxes, another checklist boxes, and then to read, people to visit, places to visit. And then you have your monthly budget sheet. And I wish that these were not written in so you could do your own. But you can easily wipe this out and do your own. And I actually plan on doing, I plan on listing out our bills, how much is due, the day that it's due, and then when I paid it. Check it off. And then here's call, write, pray for, and gifts to give. For every month you get that. Then every month you get one of these. And this is perfect for meal planning. So this is week one, week two, and so on. I think this is just unbelievable. You have one blank box, two blank box, and if you turn it over, you have more. So this could be used as like your weekly grocery list. I just think it's unbelievable. Then you have another graph paper and this leads you into your goals for 2018. So this is where you can map out your goals for 2018. Your word of the year, project wish list, travel wish list. This thing is just, it's packed with so much information. Okay, so here, my definition of success, my spiritual gifts, my talents and skills, personality, top priorities. Um, what's working well in my life, what isn't, current obligations, commitments, how much time is involved in that, new habits, your action plan, and then you have some blank notebook paper. Three pages, and then you go into February. I wish you could feel this paper. It's just so soft and smooth, and it starts all over again. And I just wanna show you, I'm gonna flip to November, to show you what the holiday planning pages are like because they have Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, right? So the Thanksgiving planning pages are here. This is what you need to do to decorate traditions, miscellaneous, and then appetizers, main dish, side dishes, desserts, beverages, bread and rolls, your blessings, a favorite recipe if it was a new one this year, and then your blank pages. Now the Christmas planning pages are much more detailed. <clears throat> um, this is the monthly menu plan. Okay, so Merry Christmas to do, decorations. Again, it's all the same as the Thanksgiving one. And here you have Christmas gift planning. So you can do by the person, um, and then they have check boxes, buy, make, and wrap. So you know that it's done with um, budget calculator. You have two pages of that. You've got stocking stuffers, online shopping, and then another one. This is what you can get at Walmart, Old Navy. It's just packed full of stuff. Okay, so Christmas gift planning for the extended family, for friends, work in church, parents, here, Christmas gift planning again, Christmas cards, and then they have a year in review. So there's 12 boxes, so you can jot down like a memory from every month. And then they have some future planning, and it's just the monthlies with some notebook paper. And then you go into the home and family section. And so they have something for your marriage where it says together forever. So you can put your needs and wants here. Love and respect, talents and hobbies, intimacy, birthday plans, date plans. And they have one box for every month. Communication, spirituality, work education. Then you can put your husband's or your wife's or whatever. Um, any allergies, neck size, shirt size, pant size, shoe size. 
Then you have All About Me. So this is for you. Your needs, your wants, your motivations, your stress and triggers, self-esteem and health, talents and hobbies, friends. <clears throat> and then they have a tracker, and this is a year-long tracker. So for your habits, you can put them in here, and then every day you mark them off. You can put all of your information here. You can put a family photo there or some draw something. Um, work ethic and activity, testimony, education. You just share about yourself. So then they have, it's the little things. And so it has, the name is blank. So for me, this will be my daughter. And you can put another monthly tracker if this is something that you want to, like if you have little kids that are doing homework and whatnot, you can mark that stuff off in there. And you've got birthday plans. You've got another sheet like that. Another one, another one, another one. Okay, so, yeah. So here we have family ideals working together. So you can come up with your family's mission statement, the rules of your family, any traditions you have, family goals. And then you have zone ideas. And I do fly, follow Fly Ladies, so I think this is just epic that it's even in here. Divide and Conquer is like Brett takes out the garbage, Brett daily. You know, just the chores. And then here we have the Financial Management Debt Elimination Calendar. So this goes through the Dave Ramsey plan, and you can just do your debt snowball here. Your tithing and donations, if you're so inclined. Financial reserve. And here you have prepare every needful thing. And this is a um, like food storage prep, and this is an LDS thing. I, I think everybody can use this, but I know um, the Mormons, the LDS church, they this is one of their things. But I do do this to a certain extent, so I think this is great to have, but it keeps track that you have your 72-hour kits, that you have your medicine, your bulk food, your gear and tools, your first aid, just in case I, we have tornadoes here, so if we need to evacuate, everybody in my house, plus the dogs, they each have a backpack worth of three days worth of stuff that they need to stay alive. So a house of order, these are your daily tasks for Monday through Saturday because Sunday is the day of rest, your weekly tasks for every week of the month, your monthly and quarterly tasks, and your annual tasks. And I just noticed they spelled annual, but that's okay. Then they have vacation planning sheets, a meal plan for that, what you're going to take with you, don't forget. <coughs> and then there's graph paper. You have a beautiful, double-sided, very durable folder. It's very durable. And then a zippered pouch that's also very durable. And then the cover. And the covers are removable. Just like in the Erin Condren, you rip it off and then you pop it back in. And I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera now just because that's how it is. But I wanted to show you what my planner choice was for 2018. I'm very excited about this. I will leave the link to the website below. Um, this is just a beautiful, stunning planner, you guys, and I cannot wait to dig in. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later.